Alright guys, I'm proud to present my Ultimate Staff uh, tutorial guide. I think this is one of the first ones, like the complete all four staffs in one video. One of the first on YouTube. So, kind of proud of it. Worked really hard. So here's the steps and let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do for the wind staff is you need to come down through the wind staff, the wind tomb teleporter and start shooting at the circular code things with the wind staff. So it's the same, the code is the same every single game and I've only been using one like central thing to look at while I do it. So I'm going to have a picture as soon as I finally figure it out of the correct pattern as long as you're standing anywhere and you have this code what you're seeing right now the still picture then you will be able to complete this and you will be good to rock and roll so now after that they're gonna start spinning and go up into wherever and this is when you leave the crazy place so after you leave the crazy place there's gonna be these little balls there's three of them smoking and you have to shoot them with the wind staff and point them towards the excavator so there was one there by Juggernaut Generator 4. There was one here at Generator 5 near Stamina Up, and of course I had missed the first one. So there's the second one and is now pointing towards the excavator. And then there's the third one which is behind the tank station, or at least what I call the first tank station, because that's the first place that the tank is. Just, you know, a little so you guys know. And I'm just going to show you how to get there really easily because um, I couldn't find it at first. I was like, well, what the fuck? Okay, but. Once you shoot that towards the excavator, it will go away, and now you actually need to go into the excavator all the way down to the main tomb, and this is just sped up to save time. There are going to be four switches. You're going to sw hit these switches so that they become yellow to correspond with the yellow orb that is down there for the wind, and you're just going to keep spinning them until they're all yellow, and it is pretty much as easy as that. So taking the roots you don't have to take specifically the roots I am but just get to all four switches make them yellow and then now you're gonna drop down and you're gonna shoot the orb with uh, the wind staff so that's gonna light up and it's gonna shoot up through all four disc stone things and they're gonna revert back to their original colors and now what's left what you have to do is you have to take it back to the crazy place and you drop it right here in its little thing Alright, so now for the ice staff, there are six stones floating in the air and you have to match them with the dots that are on screen. And it is really confusing and complicated because there is no way to tell which one actually goes to what. So as you can see on the left of the screen, I have made um, a guide as to which dots go to which um, patterned rock, I guess we could say. And there's only six, so three of them will not be used, keep that in mind. And this, it, there's a little pause because I was writing down the last one and I made it easier for you guys. So here's a bigger image of the code. So pause here if you need to and use this as a guide to hit them stones. So next, now you're going to find these tombstones. There's only three of them in the map and shoot them with the ice staff and then have somebody else shoot them with a normal gun. So they're pour there's like water pouring over the sides of them. And that first one, as you could see, was by Generator 4. And this next one is only a little walk away near Pack-a-Punch and right there. All you have to do is shoot it again with the ice staff. And then your friend or yourself, if you have a gun, you shoot it with uh, bullets. And it, it, it breaks. So here's the third one. is by Tank Station number 2, I like to call it, because it is where the tank heads to from the first one that you find it. And now uh, Brad's going to come around the corner in a second and uh, shoot it with his, I think he has the Scar H and we're gonna continue with this and we're gonna bring the party over back to where we flip the switches down in the main tomb so now here you're just gonna see me switch it to blue for ice and we're gonna jump down and we're gonna again shoot the blue orb with the staff and then we're gonna head back to the crazy place to place the staff in its holder Thing. I don't really know what to call it just yet. Hmm. So now we're going to teleport to the crazy place. We're going to throw the wind staff where it belongs. And there we go. So now the staff is ready to be upgraded. So lucky for me, in this Easter egg, there are actually, there's, there's a piano right there. Now you hit the notes of the chords with the staff. So this first chord that I'm playing 
is um, an A chord, A, C, E. So just, it's always the same, every single game. This is the, exactly the same. So if you shoot it the way I do, then you will be good to go. The first one I shot with it was an A, the second one was a C, and the third one was an E. So now the next chord is a E chord, E, G, B. And now I don't know where I'm going, but <laughs> E, G, B. Right, so the first note is an E, which will be right there. Next is a G, and the third is a B, right there. Always the same. So now the third chord is, um, I think it's a, it's a D chord and third inversion, but don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, it might even be first inversion. Ooh, I don't remember. It's been a while. So now all I do is play it in the order it's supposed to be played, um, according to the staff FAD, and that's it. You get the sound, and Samantha speaks to you again, and that's it for this part. So now that you've done the piano part, now you're going to come back into the real world, and there's going to be these little switches that you're going to find around the map. The first one was there near Stamina Up at Generator 5, and the second one is going to be at the tank station, and all you have to do is rotate the switch until this, this thing, uh, this wall electrical source, Start spark stop sparking. So you saw there that it stopped sparking once I started switching it around. And this is the second time we've done it, so that's why I generally knew where they all were. So they're going to be the same order every time. It has been for the past three times I've done it now. So I don't doubt that would be any different in the future. So now this fourth one is going to be over here by Generator 4 near the Wind Tomb. And you're just going to keep turning them until... You know, this stops sparking. All right, and now for some summary, for some reason, I thought that the next one would be in the workplace, but it's not. So don't look in there like I did, like a noob. So the next one is gonna be found at spawn, and you're gonna come down the stairs, and it's gonna be right there on the wall. And I was like, wait, where the hell did it go? So there it is, right there. And now the next one is gonna be at the second tank station, um, hiding towards the wall. You're gonna see me go on the roof and everything, trying to look for it. But it's not there because Brad helped me out the first time we did it, and I was just like, um, where did I do? Where did you find it? And he was like, it's on the wall. I'm just like, what wall? So that's where that one is. There's only seven switches, by the way. There, you only need to do seven of them throughout the entire map. And this last one is going to be found near Pack-A-Punch, and it's going to be located past the MP40, or you could go up and around like I guess I decided to do. And you're going to drop down right here, and there it is. So once you've done that, you flip the switch, you're going to hear the sound. The beam is in the air, and now all you have to do is go back down into the main tomb, and we're going to start flipping some switches. And Brad, you noob. <laughs> so now I'm flipping the switches to be all purple, so we can do the purple orb to correspond with the purple staff, to be with the purple everything related purpley purple teletubbiness all right anyways so we're gonna shoot the purple orb now and we're gonna return to the crazy place so cry and we're gonna put this in its little case which I've decided to call these things now they're like trophy cases if you know what I mean yeah so we're gonna plop it right where it belongs in its case and we're gonna move on to the fire one all right so now we're on to the final staff the fire staff so all you need to do for the crazy place challenge is to shoot and kill a bunch of zombies with it um, near those cauldrons as you saw me jumping around and looking into so as soon as all four of those are lit up you have to come back here to the church and examine the the dots and circles again now I'm not sure how to read these um I actually made a guess I know it's like ternary code I don't really know how to pronounce it ternary and so I was like, you know what? I'm going to YOLO swag it. I'm going to guess. I'm going to hit 935 and then hit the blood stain mark. And I I didn't record it when I first did it. So this is why I'm just showing you what I did. And it actually worked. So I started screaming and flipping a tit. It was much more dramatic than just a 360 spin. But now we're going to head back to the main tomb and we're going to shoot the last orb. And he's going to go right up through it again. And we're going to teleport ourselves for the last time to the crazy place now in the crazy place how you actually charge and activate all the ultimate staffs is you need to kill a bunch of zombies in here so you will know when it's done being charged when there is a red outline 
around the staff itself when you push select as you can see there I just grabbed my wind staff and there's the red around it the same with I think the electrical staff and the only ones not charged would be the ice and the fire staff and you see there those are the yellow souls from the zombies going from them to the staffs themselves to charge so I'm just gonna let the rest of the gameplay um, go you're gonna see us charge the wind staff and then Brad's gonna grab it and oh I guess I just grabbed my wind staff now Brad's gonna grab the ice staff and it's gonna be awesome and then Fragbait grabs the electrical staff and then his brother who is slow as shit finally grabs the fire staff so guys if this video has helped you out at all leave a like rating uh, subscribe for more origins there's gonna be a lot more I'm gonna edit some more videos after um, I start to upload this one and I will catch you all in my next video and until then peace out and do not worry in a moment there will be gameplay of me using the Boreas Fury I believe it is called do not quote me do not kill me if I get it wrong I'll see you guys in my next video peace out here's gameplay of me using the staff